Daniel continues his run. YouTube, you might be watching these games thinking, wait, another Daniel game? All of them have happened on the same night. And I tell you what, chat, I, I can't even guarantee you this will be the last one. Or I should say YouTube commenters. Um, we might have three weeks of Daniel 1v1s in a row at this rate, all from the same day on Twitch. So, you know, if you're here on YouTube, you need to go ahead and follow twitch.tv slash VRL because you just can't miss these moments. That being said, Daniel is trying out the gizmo, and this time he's in the yellow gizmo. Played some green gizmo against Forky. Now it's all about the yellow gizmo. I guess this is probably the same design, but the opposite team, because green is a blue team color. But Daniel and Young Evo have played before. The last time they played was in the Next Gen Season 2 Final. Daniel able to beat Young Evo in a best of seven in game six but young evo did a really good job in that one in fact it does seem like evo is branding uh out of his young and just into evo which i think is a good idea i think you can't have young in your name forever evo is not a bad name long shot from evo daniel is gonna save it into the top corner thank you for the raid of 23 million by the way nebra who won between Daniel versus Forky? Um, you'll just have to check out the YouTube. Got him. Scammed him, chat. Easy peasy. That's the easiest YouTube subscription I've ever earned. Evo up 1-0. Right now, we're basically wondering whether or not Daniel can keep up this mindset for the entirety of the night. This will be the fifth show match he's played tonight. And... It's hard to stay focused, especially um, in this mentality we have on stream right now. Everybody's having fun. Don't get me wrong. We're all hanging out, having a good time. But it does bring a little bit of the seriousness of these matches out. Daniel uh, agreed to try his hardest here at the start of this one. But there's no doubt that during the Forky series, Daniel let some free goals not go in instead of taking them. Right now, Evo and everybody in chat who voted on him trying to prove that Daniel's mindset is withering and can be taken down. I think a lot of people will be rich in chat. It is 30K to 7K right now. People making some investments in a youngster named Evo. Daniel, the original young 1v1 player, I think we had him play when he was 13. Uh, he's 14 now, though. And Young Evo has taken over as the best 13-year-old 1v1-er. I think that might be, um, you know, unarguable. Now that Mo, who's also 13, has apparently quit the game, it leaves just Young Evo, who actually had the edge on Mo in the 13-year-old age range anyways. Somebody on YouTube... Um, Told, oh. Mirror, mirror, who's the youngest of them all? $100 donations. I am going to assume Silent Fart Bubble is donating $100 to a prize pool for this match. And uh, if he isn't, he's got to let me know. But a $100 donation. These guys are the youngsters. So, yeah, I was going to say, these guys often have the stream open while playing. For some reason, the young guys do. Um, prize pool, yes. That's All right, you guys are playing for a $100 prize pool. I'll let them know. Um, we'll go 80-20 like we did earlier. Whoops. Um, which is what we did during the death game. We went 80-20. Nice shot from Daniel. Sorry, Chad. I wasn't watching from his perspective. Silent Fart Bubble, thank you so much. I will say your name as many times as you want if you're giving $100 donations to prize pools. Silent Fart Bubble knows how to motivate these kids. Yeah, here we are. We're in the middle of talking about how it's late. It's 2 a.m. probably for these guys or even later. Um, and it's hard to stay focused in a show match. Well, Silent Fart Bubble is going to give these guys a little bit of motivation with a nice $100 prize pool. Let me put that up on the overlay. You didn't even see this. Let's go. All right. Uh, you know what? Oh, it's exactly the same prize pool as last time. I can just turn it back on. I need to turn up uh, 
the alert notifications are a little bit quiet. We can't hear you guys' beautiful text-to-speech. Evo bounce dribble. His shot saved away. Long shot from Daniel trying to snipe it past Evo on the recovery. Evo with the Walmart Daniel move. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Uh, he doesn't deserve it, but I just think it's too silly of a joke. And young Evo knows I'm his biggest fan. But he went for the Daniel dribble, so he couldn't resist. Why did Mo quit? Unknown. I do not have any insider info. Some people were asking me on YouTube, you know, tell me the, the inside scoop. I have no inside scoop. I know what everyone else knows. So if you follow him on Twitter, you, you know what I know, which is that he cut his cables and he's not playing anymore. Daniel off the sidewall, baiting young Evo into trying to make a challenge. 10 seconds left to go. And this third goal is a very important one. Daniel looking awkward, coming off the wall. Young Evo thought he saw an opportunity to take it away, but chat, Daniel is what? never awkward. For the prize pool, $101, chat. The biggest prize pool given all night. Now that it's 101 instead of just 100. Daniel will take this air dribble away and he will go up 1-0 against Young Evo as these guys battle it out for $100. Wait, did Barry not give you guys predictions? Evo versus Daniel. Daniel the Gizmo main, as we all know, he mains this exotic car and he's never not played a match with it. Double from Daniel. What a save from Evo. My goodness. That was a hard read. Evo making the play to take it away. Evo does not focus on ones. He's probably one of the least focused ones players that plays on stream, yet is still one of the best ones players there is. For a long time, before he got his PC, I think when he was playing on PS4, he, he would just play 1v1 tournaments for money. Uh, I think he did really well in a bunch of different 1v1 tournaments, and I noticed that he was able to take down a lot of the top players. Uh, once he got his PC, he did play some top 100 1v1s. I think he grinded to around top 20-ish, maybe even a little bit higher. Whether or not to just prove to everybody, like, look, I can do it. Uh, you know, it was obvious he was already a top player. Nice flick by Daniel. But it seemed like he wanted to do it at least once, show that he could get to the top. But, and since then, I have never seen him in the stratosphere of the top 100. Because uh, I don't think he plays much one rank, one's ranked at all. You subbed to my YouTube and liked every video posted. Chat. That is a smart man right there. Daniel getting a little bit greedy for the bump. Evo will get his first. We saw Daniel getting overly greedy for bumps in that last series. And that used to be his MO. And I won't say it again too much because we mentioned it before. But Daniel, before he had every style in his back pocket, his style was the physical play. Kind of like what we saw Mo doing. Uh, Mo is a very, very physical ones player. Definitely the most physical of the guys who played recently. Beer, you remind me of old school Johnny Boy. Love the content. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's kind of kind of my goal. Um, you know, that's kind of perfect. I think Johnny Boy used to do a lot of show matches like this, and he, he's come. He's made. He's making great content. Don't get me wrong. It's still amazing. But the problem is, it's so amazing that this kind of like old one v one show match. Let's watch these cool games style has gone away because he's instead hosting massive, awesome you know, tournaments, top-notch, like, psionics tier stuff. Um, so maybe, just maybe, there's still some space to go back to the old style that he used to do. Evo trying to carry this one all the way to the net off the wall. He likes to pull off the dribble despite having boost to potentially finish it. I think he realized that boost was better served recovering than it would be 
trying to force the issue on that shot attempt. 1v1 the most entertaining uh, to watch. I agree. I, I think 1v1 is the most entertaining to watch. Um, 2v2 is the best to play personally. And then 3v3 has like the best competitive format, I would argue. I think 3s being RLCS makes a lot of sense. Um, so there's love for every game mode. Evo, he's had possession here for the past few minutes, but Daniel's done a good job to keep him away. But that's honestly a, uh, you know, something to hang your hat on in its own. The way Daniel's been playing this whole night, it seems like he's just had possession the entire, every game. Nice bump. This is Evo's specialty. There's no one better than him, actually. I'll come out and say it. The air dribble bump is the Evo specialty, and I don't know if anybody does it better than him. And he does the real air dribble bump. I'm not talking the, the night owl bump, where you do a double jump pop, and then you just like search for the defender. He does the real air dribble bumps, and he does them well, man. He does a really good job of sniping people out of the air. To be fair, I think somebody might be suggesting that Jack is better at air dribble bumping. Um, I, I can't say as much about the EU guys. These guys are the guys I watch the most. But of all the people who play on our stream, no doubt Evo's got the best air dribble bump. Evo 2-2. Two, two. Forced a tough save on Daniel. Daniel playing awkward. Elects to play it backwards, and it works out. Another save, but he'll continue to play defense on low boost. And Evo is a very crafty shooter, and he'll get a third. Minute left to go. Young Evo up by one, doing a good job of maintaining possession against one of the better players there are in the game at controlling the pace. The fact that young Evo has dominated control is very, very impressive. Why are we talking about Kinsei versus Sharp? Beer 500 season one. I tell you what, man. Daniel can clip a lot, but it seems like he almost scores more on his potential shots where he just drops it low. Like that, that's the benefit. Once you become as cracked as Daniel, then you just get to score with whatever you want. You don't even have to hit the clips anymore. The defender will just assume you're gonna hit the clips. Daniel's fakes are on point. Young Evo is playing a five head strategy where he drops the controller, pretends to have DC'd, and then shows up at the last second, steals the ball, and scores a goal. All right, first to score will win game number two, and then we'll head to game three. Evo's game freezing on him randomly. Daniel patient on the kickoff, and Daniel will win game number two. Daniel popping out of the match before it even makes it all the way in. What the what? When you order johnnyboyhandwish.com. All right, chat, I, I deserve these roasting. Daniel versus Young Evo. We came over here to Neo Tokyo. We've been trying to remember to switch every map Daniel has been specifically asking for like an RLCS type rotation, which I'm totally fine with. I think that's actually kind of cool to switch map uh, every game. But that actually takes having a slight brain, which I don't have, and I always forget to switch it. But a little bit of an awkward game number two meant I had time to remind myself. So we're going to go to Neo Tokyo for game three. Evo trying to find a way into this match against Dan. Dan playing in what feels like a potential troll gizmo, but has proven that it does not affect his play at all. Playing like a top tier player at all times. A great save and a good shot from Evo. And these guys will race each other to the back corner boost. Daniel in the air, flip reset, saved away. A couple clips from both these guys. 
not going to go in. Daniel getting a little over excited with sticking with the ball, trying to tap this one over Evo and not the best recovery either. Evo will slap it in on a long shot. Is it a forfeit? Oh yeah, chat. I don't know if you understood that game two, Evo um, lagged out. So they agreed to basically play a single goal to finish game two. And that's what that map was when we just instantly left after that single goal. Drips, thank you for the follow. So now we're here in game three, Daniel up 2-0. $100 prize pool on the line. Evo, a great dribble, he's gonna go for a bump. He's so good at these, but he's playing one of the better evaders of the air dribble bump. Maybe the best, we might be, oh my. Wow, Daniel, chill out, bud. We can't take it, $101 prize pool, you're right, I forgot. Jeez, chat, is that how we should re <laughs> respond to to uh, goals now instead of oh my goodness. Chat, we really know that uh, the uh, the how do you say commentating is deteriorating if I'm suggesting saying sheesh. Daniel, his flip reset saved away. Quick recovery. Not sheesh is cringe. All right, true. Yeah, chat, I never suggested it. I, you never catch me dead saying it. I never ever say it. Long shot from Daniel. Backward and out. Evo is trying to stay alive here with very little boost, and he's being quite aggressive considering he's not going to be able to follow up that touch at all. You should inform the players about the prize pool increasing. You're right. Thank you, Dino. You're right. I, I mean, this honestly, that's going to affect the way they play. Oh, they're peaking? You want me to go with they're peaking? Y'all giving him free money? I don't know. Evo is also getting free money. I think he must have forgotten that I said it was an 80-20 split. Boomer sheesh. They're peaking! You see, no, it's gotta be it's gotta be an exclamation. Because oh my goodness, unfortunately, is just has been taken from me by I think a Reddit comment. Daniel, nice fake, and he'll scoop it under. How did he find a way? Evo has been operating on defense with low boost a lot. Tries to pre-jump and has to just sit on the ball as it rolls underneath him. The additional $1 would definitely affect the gameplay. Yeah, people play different when they're playing for uh, for $101 as opposed to $100. I totally agree. In fact, it was very disrespectful of me not to tell them right away. This is the Daniel clip that he's been looking for all night. He tries to go for that flip reset where right before he brings it to the ground, he musties it to gain height. And I would say it has about a 50% success rate at this point. And he was doing much better with it earlier. Earlier in the night, it had like a 80% success rate. But he hasn't been as fire with the flip reset musty. One flip reset. Did he get the second? He must not have. I think he would have used another flip to get back around the ball. 4-3 for Evo. Minute 40 left to go. Evo will take his open nets if Daniel keeps giving him. Copium. Evo's only losing because of the extra dollar. True. True chat. Daniel, what a shot. Oh my goodness, never mind. It's actually trash. Wasn't a good shot, and I knew it all along. Misses high. Evo, once again, playing defense with low boost. Daniel had low as well. He's going to head all the way back to net. Evo, a strong touch. When Evo first started playing on stream, he never took dribbles on the top of his car. He always dropped them down and preferred to play dribbles with a rolling ball on the ground, which is you know, technically what he just did again. And it's different than the way everybody else plays their dribbles. Let him know another dollar's on the line. I'll let him. I'll let him know right away. I won't. Uh, you know, I won't disrupt their active play. But as soon as a goal scored, I, I'll let them know right away that it's another dollar. Evo. 
You, only Ray, you gotta speed up, man. $103 prize pool now, by the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's game three. My FPS, once again, just cannot handle. Da wow, Evo. Oh, Daniel's forfeiting this match. I was gonna say, Daniel tried to clip through it, and eventually, Evo counters a few times and then gets a couple straightforward goals. Dude, wow, one frame every 20 minutes. What? Why does my game do this every once in a while? Two Doge coins worth to the prize pool. Another dollar! Thank you, Lo-Fi. I will let them know as soon as possible that they are playing for, what, $104 now? Evo with the first goal. Thank you for the one bit, by the way, Taiga. Uh, what happened there? Did Daniel delay his kickoff on a straight uh, um, kickoff? Oh, he didn't flip at all. He tried to roll straight into it, and Evo's just going to chip it over him. It's crazy how RL players your age are making hundreds of dollars off playing ones. Yeah, I mean, these kids... When you think about it um, in terms of the amount of hours they've played, then you start to realize that they're probably not even paid that well. You know? Think about it that way. Does that make you feel better? In fact, they're probably played pretty poorly for how many hours they work. Evo, 3-0. Fear, don't say that. You'll never get another show match. <laughs> what? what? What's wrong with that? I'm just saying, these guys play a lot of Rocket League. True, but it's fun to play games. Yeah, I know. I'm joking around. This is not work for them. If you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. True, true chat. Who knew that late into the night on our fifth Daniel show match will we find such profound truth? Daniel in the Batmobile. We have seen him play less games in the Octane today than anything else. I think he did bring the Octane out at some point. Um during one of the many matches. At this point, they all blend together. But I think he pulled it out to go try hard mode in at least one of the various games. Come on, Evo make Daniel forfeit. He did, he made him forfeit in game number two, or sorry, game number three. And once again, he, he's starting off hot. Young Evo has played well against Daniel in the past. Young Evo in that next gen final, 4-2 um, is a really good score line. I mean, I don't know what to say. He's just he's he's close enough to steal a game if Daniel doesn't play, you know, up to his form. A nice dribble from Daniel. Evo trying to pre-jump it, not gonna work. He got tilted against death a little bit. That's who it was. Then slaughtered him. Yeah, that was yeah, that's exactly what it was. Oh, what a pinch! Evo! 4-1. The man is a little bit on fire right now. In the zone here against one of the best 1v1ers in the game. As he snipes one from the wall. Up 4-1 with three minutes left to go. Young Yuo back into his half. He's going to give Daniel a lot of space. That's frequently a mistake. But his challenge is going to work this time. In fact, he's going to try and boom one before Daniel can get back. And great interference on the play. Tried to take Daniel completely out of it. But Evo, man, he, he plays fast right now. He's getting strong touches every time he gets the ball. He's not trying to play slow dribbles ever. He always wants to keep the pace moving on offense. Anytime he slows it down to dribble, he's usually pulling it up into an air dribble fairly quickly.
Daniel, convenient demo. Will he take his open net? He's trying to fake again. I mean, I don't know why Daniel's not just cutting these early. In the Forky game, it seemed like he was very intentionally just trying to get as many demos as possible. But there, it looked like Daniel was maybe just under the impression that his best chance at scoring was the slow play. And I don't know why he doesn't have faith that he can squeeze it in before they can spawn and get back. Oh my goodness. Evo slamming it a double on his own net. One of the best own goals we've seen. Sharp had a nasty own goal in the Fear 5, though. He, like, triple tapped it into his own net. Oh my goodness, chat. Evo seems faster, but you can see he's not a ones main. His recoveries bail him out a lot. Yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good analysis of the way Evo plays. He is very, very quick. Stop, he's gonna get self-conscious again. Chat, oh my goodness. We're just gonna, let's just uh, talk like we're a Pokemon. Oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Should we, should we cast the whole game like that? Daniel, <laughs> his air dribble. Not gonna connect, too slow. Can't convert. <laughs> you can't leave, chat. You can't make fun of me for oh my goodness and then leave. Daniel, his ear bump saved away. Young Evo hovering outside the net. 30 seconds left to go. This game has really flown by. A insane musty from Daniel. Crossbar down. A nifty way to score is to rip it off the post so it can't be saved and get the continuation. We actually saw Chronic do that so many times in the, in the last few Fear 5 games that we've seen him play that... I almost thought he was doing it intentionally. I'm not sure these guys ever look to go crossbar down and then force themselves to get a second touch. But Chronic did it enough times to maybe think that he was truly doing it on purpose. Daniel, what a great flick. Tying this game up. Great recovery here. Not in the Rocket League game, but in the match in general. Getting a couple goals in the last few seconds. And these situations... I would always think Daniel might consider going air dribble bump, but he has really never relied on that. Instead, just flicking and out, pacing and placing. Young Evo, low 50, and a 4-5 deficit for Young Evo now. Pulling off that ball. That is a what the, wait, is he talking about that 50? I don't understand how that worked either. The hitbox for the, uh, for the Batmobile, that looked like it should have gone over the Batmobile. But somehow it stayed in front. Wait, Evo. Oh, oh no. That could have been his cord, actually, chat. I remember now. His cord is messed up. Yeah, his cord. This does look like cord. Because your game just continues to do exactly what it was doing before when your cord disconnects. Young Evo, you wasted so much time with that shot. You could have hit it faster. Six seconds. Evo within one. Still possible. Mo Buckets 13. Is this this is not the Mo that we know? And that's game. Daniel will take another win in another hundred dollar prize pool show match. GG's from both these guys. 3-1 for Daniel. <laughs> Daniel never wants to end! Two Doge coins worth. To the prize pool another dollar thank you lo-fi i will let them know as soon as possible that they are playing for what 104 dollars now evo with the first goal
Thank you for the one bit, by the way, Taiga. Uh, what happened there? Did Daniel delay his kickoff on a straight uh, um, kickoff? Oh, he didn't flip at all. He tried to roll straight into it, and Evo's just going to chip it over him. It's crazy how RL players your age are making hundreds of dollars off playing ones. Yeah, I mean, these kids... When you think about it, um, in terms of the amount of hours they've played, then you start to realize that they're probably not even paid that well. You know? Think about it that way. Does that make you feel better? In fact, they're probably paid pretty poorly for how many hours they work. Evo, 3-0. Fear, don't say that. You'll never get another show match. <laughs> what? what? What's wrong with that? I'm just saying, these guys play a lot of Rocket League. True, but it's fun to play games. Yeah, I know, I'm joking around. This is not work for them. If you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. True, true chat. Who knew that late into the night on our fifth Daniel show match will we find such profound truth? Daniel in the Batmobile. We have seen him play less games in the Octane today than anything else. I think he did bring the Octane out at some point. Um during one of the many matches. At this point, they all blend together. But I think he pulled it out to go try hard mode in at least one of the various games. Come on, Evo make Daniel forfeit. He did, he made him forfeit in game number two, or sorry, game number three. And once again, he, he's starting off hot. Young Evo has played well against Daniel in the past. Young Evo in that next gen final, 4-2 um, is a really good score line. I mean, I don't know what to say. He's just he's he's close enough to steal a game if Daniel doesn't play, you know, up to his form. A nice dribble from Daniel. Evo trying to pre-jump it, not gonna work. He got tilted against death a little bit. That's who it was. Then slaughtered him. Yeah, that was yeah, that's exactly what it was. Oh, what a pinch! Evo! 4-1. The man is a little bit on fire right now. In the zone here against one of the best 1v1ers in the game. As he snipes one from the wall. Up 4-1 with three minutes left to go. Young Yuo back into his half. He's going to give Daniel a lot of space. That's frequently a mistake. But his challenge is going to work this time. In fact, he's going to try and boom one before Daniel can get back. And great interference on the play. Tried to take Daniel completely out of it. But Evo, man, he, he plays fast right now. He's getting strong touches every time he gets the ball. He's not trying to play slow dribbles ever. He always wants to keep the pace moving on offense. Anytime he slows it down to dribble, he's usually pulling it up into an air dribble fairly quickly. Daniel, convenient demo. Will he take his open net? He's trying to fake again. I mean, I don't know why Daniel's not just cutting these early. In the Forky game, it seemed like he was very intentionally just trying to get as many demos as possible. But there, it looked like Daniel was maybe just under the impression that his best chance at scoring was the slow play. And I don't know why he doesn't have faith that he can squeeze it in before they can spawn and get back. Oh my goodness. Evo slamming in a double on his own net. One of the best own goals we've seen. Sharp had a nasty own goal in the Fear 5, though. He, like, triple tapped it into his own net. Oh, my goodness, chat. Evo seems faster, but you can see he's not a ones main. His recoveries bail him out a lot. Yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good analysis of the way Evo plays. He is very, very quick. Stop. He's going to get self-conscious again. Chat, oh my goodness. We're just gonna, let's just uh, talk like we're a Pokemon. Oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
Should we should we cast the whole game like that? Daniel <laughs> is air dribble not gonna connect too slow can't convert <laughs> You can't leave chat you can't make fun of me for oh my goodness and then leave Daniel his air dribble bump saved away Young Evo hovering outside the net. 30 seconds left to go. This game has really flown by. A insane musty from Daniel. Crossbar down. A nifty way to score is to rip it off the post so it can't be saved and get the continuation. We actually saw Chronic do that so many times in the, in the last few Fear 5 games that we've seen him play that I almost thought he was doing it intentionally. I'm not sure these guys ever look to go crossbar down and then force themselves to get a second touch. But Chronic did it enough times to maybe think that he was truly doing it on purpose. Daniel, what a great flick. Tying this game up. Great recovery here. Not in the Rocket League game, but in the match in general. Getting a couple goals in the last few seconds. And these situations... I would always think Daniel might consider going air dribble bump, but he has really never relied on that. Instead, just flicking and out, pacing and placing. Young Evo, low 50, and a 4-5 deficit for Young Evo now. Pulling off that ball. That is a what the, wait, is he talking about that 50? I don't understand how that worked either. The hitbox for the, uh, for the Batmobile, that looked like it should have gone over the Batmobile. But somehow it stayed in front. Wait, Evo. Oh, oh no. That could have been his cord, actually, chat. I remember now. His cord is messed up. Yeah, his cord. This does look like cord. Because your game just continues to do exactly what it was doing before when your cord disconnects. Young Evo, you wasted so much time with that shot. You could have hit it faster. Six seconds. Evo within one. Still possible. Mo buckets 13. Is this this is not the Mo that we know? That's game. Daniel will take another win and another hundred dollar prize pool show match. GG's from both these guys. 3-1 for Daniel. <laughs> Daniel never wants to end!